everyone, it's Tammy Pally, aka The Crafty Princess and Doll Collector, and today I have finally a Yarn and Dollies video for you. If you have been a longtime viewer or a recent viewer and you've caught some of my more recent videos, I've been doing box openings for some of the uh, clothing uh, subscription boxes I've joined, and I haven't really been talking too much about my crafting, uh, but today I'm finally think I have everything ready and I can start talking about some dolls and some yarn and um, crafts and what I'm working on right now. Uh, if you want to skip over to that, I'm going to do the yarn first and then the dolly second. Uh, but first I just wanted to talk a little bit about why I've been sort of um, not as active on my YouTube channel lately. And that's because as I've mentioned in some previous ones a, a few weeks ago, I had eye surgery. Um, I had uh, my cataracts taken care of and also I had uh, torque implants and now I can see without wearing glasses all the time. <laughs> Yay! Of course now I have to use reading glasses uh, but it was a bit of a trade-off and I wanted to see distance and um, I had a very uh, very bad astigmatism that meant basically I had, um, even though it was technically nearsighted, uh, nearsighted to me was I could see stuff it was if it was about six inches in front of my face like here <laughs> um, Otherwise, I couldn't see very well at all and um, Yeah, I'm thinking I probably will do a video just about the torque implants and uh, how everything went and um, You know what's involved with that as far as a uh, Person who's on the other end of it. Obviously, I'm not a medical professional, but I had a really hard time finding information about it online and I think that maybe it would be helpful. I, a lot of people don't know about TORC implants. They assume that it's the same thing as a LASIK surgery, uh, but it is not. It is quite different. It's a bit more involved. So yeah, so look for that possibly, I don't know when I'll do that, maybe maybe by next weekend hopefully. Um, my school work right now is, is uh, kicking my you know what. This past week was the week from hell, and I have about four or five, about five weeks, I think, left, yeah, about five weeks left for school to, uh, before school's over with, so that means um, lots of grading and some uh, projects to finish up, and a few unexpected issues came up with some, um, I had to take on some extra work at school that I had not expected to try to help out for some things that had happened that I won't go into detail about, because you guys don't care. Um, but anyway, so I will have to pop on my my reading glasses occasionally But what cracks me up is these are foster grants that I got at the grocery store for $15 <laughs> That's way different than what I used to spend on glasses So I'm gonna start with the yarn uh, first the yarn crafting um, by the way today is April 2nd 2017 Welcome to everybody. I really appreciate you coming by. I know there's tons and tons of videos out there on YouTube I watch tons of videos myself and so I know it's hard to, to get everybody in that you want to watch. So I do appreciate everybody who stops by and watches my videos and gives me thumbs up and subscribes and comments. I always like to hear what you guys have to say, so feel free to uh, let me know down there in the comments. All right, so I do have some finished objects, not a ton because when I was, um, I had two weeks in between the, the two surgeries. I had one eye done and then I had to wait for two weeks to do the other eye. And during that two week time period, uh, my vision was wackadoodle. <laughs> it was really hard to see. You can imagine I had one eye that was like 20, 20 and one eye that was like 80, 80, 80 or something. <laughs> it was like really bad. So I had to constantly go back and forth with things. I, uh, so it was hard to do anything, but because I have been, you know, crocheting since I was a little kid, I was able to do a little bit of crocheting. And this is a scarf I worked on, um, while I was healing. Um, and yeah, I still have to weave the ends in, but this is a scarf. This is just some acrylic yarn. I know, isn't it a beautiful colorway? I don't even remember what it was, but I got it at AC Moore's and it's their, um, it's a brand that they sell at AC Moore's, the craft store. That's, I think it's, that craft store is only on the east coast of the U.S., but anywho, I made this scarf. Um, this scarf is going to be donated to Street Knits, so that's one thing I made. And then I started thinking, well, you know, I should make some other stuff for Street Knits because I don't want to just send them one scarf, so I have a few other projects in the works. Um, but one thing I did finish also was a cowl. And I don't know if you can tell, but you can see there's a little bit of difference in the coloring here and here. 
because I took um, multiple strands of yarn, held them together. I did, uh, what was it? I did about a hundred chain stitches and then connected them and then just did double crochet around and around and around. I think I used a size H hook and these are both, um, this is leftover stuff. I think these are maybe sport weight yarns that I had. And then here's like another one I ran out, so I used that one. So this kind of gave me the idea that um, I have a lot of, I guess, odds and ends, bits and bits and bobs of yarn that are actually substantially large in size, but not really enough to do, like there, there wouldn't be enough to do an entire, you know, cow, um, cowl or, or a hat even or something. So I think I'm going to try to, you know, pull them together and see if there's ways I can combine them and make some interesting um, items to donate. And that way I will clear out my stash and make stuff for people in, um, in Michigan. <laughs> that's what Street, Street Nuts donates to homeless shelters in Michigan. So yeah, so that's the other thing. It's a cow that I made. And then um, I'm also working on kind of um, putting together like a, um, besides making stuff for myself, which is nice to do sometimes, um, I'm putting together sort of like a um, gifty spot for me that this collect items that I make that I might don't, uh, not donate, but give as gifts. Because sometimes I'm not always prepared and I think, oh, I really want to give somebody something. So here is a, uh, one, another one of the just garter stitch uh, triangular scarfs chalette thingies. This is made out of um, Malabrigo. I believe it is DK weight. And I just used my nitpicks. I think my size, I don't know, what was it? Size, size eight needles or something. Um, it's super soft. It's pink. I have one kind of similar, a similar colorway in, in Malabrigo for myself. So like I said, I'll probably stash this away and it will be a gifty for some somebody at some point in time so that's getting stashed away so that's my finished objects i have um, a lot of works in progress and um, stuff that i'm going to do in the future especially now that i can see with both eyes at the same time um, the stuff i'm working on right now let me reach over here uh, there's somebody i know which she's in my department at school and she's having a baby so i have to make something because that's just how i am so I'm going to make her um, this uh, bear. This is a bear from the Woodlands um, Amigurumi crafts, Craftsy class that um, Stacy Torque teaches. And I, I cannot say enough good things about this class. It's very often on sale. I think I paid maybe $10 to take the class. Um, and you know when you take a Craftsy class that you can keep it forever in your, in your library there. This class comes with four patterns. Um, two of which, this bear and the, and the bird, I have made a bajillion of. Um, I have all the parts and pieces at this point, and I just have to put them together. But here's one, here's a, a bottom, and then um, I think this is an ear or a snout. So you make all the little pieces and you stitch them together. So I have all the pieces made. Um, the yarn I used is this Baby Soft um, from Lion Brand. And let me see, I'll put on my glasses so I can read the colorway here. The colorway is do, 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 pastel print. So this is the colorway. And I like this because um, it still says baby, but it doesn't have this gender specification to it because there's purple and yellow and green and pink and blue in here. In fact, is there any pink? Maybe there's no pink. I don't think there's any pink. Yeah, so it's purple, blue, yellow and white. So purple, blue, yellow, and white. Very pretty. Um, yes. Oh, I've noticed a lot of um, new mommies these days are kind of anti-pink. <laughs> so so I'm trying, trying to be sensitive to that. I'm pro-pink, by the way. <laughs> so I love pink. But um, anyway, so this I figured is still baby, kind of feminine, but does it, there's no pink in there. So anyway, I'm going to make her fat teddy bear. <laughs> Okay, so that's one, one project. Um, another project that I'm probably going to give her this as well in that same Craftsy class is this bird. This little blue bird. But of course, I'm making it out of different yarn. 
Um, I just kind of started it. I'm starting the body here. Now this has pink, but it's also got green and yellow and purple. Again, this is also um, Baby Soft from Lion Brand. And the colorway is, do, 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 is what? What's the colorway? Is Circus Print. And by the way, these are both, um, you know, acrylic and they're considered uh, a number three light, like a, like a sport weight. Um, but you can see how cute this actually stripes up. I've used this before and it, and it just creates these really cool, uh, striping effect. So it'll be a really striped, cute little birdie. So this will be, this is super easy. Um, the, the instructions, um, from the class use worsted weight yarn and a size H hook. So since I'm using a thinner yarn, I'm using a size G. Um, so just so you know, in case you think, well, how come hers is, hers are so small? Um, I just went down a hook size because the yarn's thinner, but otherwise I'm totally following the patterns um, exactly as written. All right, so that's my other work in progress. And then um, another one, and I'm almost finished with this. This one I've been kind of, this has been my part, sort of my traveling project. Um, I've made another uh, double crochet um, scarf that I will be donating. This has got a, a wool, and I, yeah, I think you can see the trim. So I used um, this bright orange, and I'm trimming it with this pink. Um, these were skeins that, um, they're 100% um, merino wool that I got when, what was the deal? Oh, Expressions Fiber Art, she had a sale where if you spent so much, you got a skein free. So I got a couple of skeins free. So I thought this would be a fun, cheery, um, and it's wool. So this will also, when I'm finished, I just have to finish the trim and then weave in the ends. This will also be going to street knits. So, um, and this is, I believe this is worsted and I'm using a size, I want to say I hook. Let me see, it's in my little baggie here. I'm using a size I crochet hook. So that's almost finished. So those are my, um, yeah, those are my whips, my finished objects, and my future yarny projects include uh, more of the hats. If you saw one of my previous, uh, one of my more recent previous yarn and dollies, you saw the adorable unicorn hat that I made for my grandniece. So of course that meant um, she wore it, she looked cute. My niece was uh, super uh, helpful and sweet and sent me a picture of the little adorable girl wearing it. So that's always a plus. <laughs> if somebody makes something for your kid, take a picture of it and send it to them, please. So, which she knew to do. Um, but I ended up getting um, two of these giraffe ones. Thank you, get that? So cute. So these little giraffe hats. Um, definitely be making so and the thing is I have I have uh, three grandnieces boy you can really hear the thunder in the background um, it sounds like we have a thunderstorm rolling in which we could definitely use the rain so hopefully that's not going to be too loud when I uh, upload this all right so I have two giraffes I got another um, unicorn and I got a butterfly so and I had leftover yarn from the other unicorns so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead um, probably if I have leftovers I'm gonna make some more um, extra little hats for them and maybe you know maybe make it like a little crocheted um, butterfly or flower and, and stick them on so they have extras because um, yeah, that's, that's a substantial amount of yarn when you're talking about knitting, and I could definitely whip up another little hat. So, so yeah, I found a place online, I think it was, I want to say it was yarn.com that had these. I would have liked to gone back to the original, um, ooh, listen to that out there. I always like to try to buy stuff at a yarn shop if I can, but of course there are no yarn shops nearby where I live. The one that I frequent uh, when I get a chance is about... Um, an hour and a half almost yeah about an hour and a half away from me and I just don't know when I'm gonna be there again so I felt bad because I really wanted to buy them there but um, I did get these I think it was yarn.com and they had them pretty well priced the yarn shop I got them 
at, I think they had them for like, it was le a little less than $10. Online, these were, um, these were around $7, I think. Plus, of course, I had to pay shipping. So it kind of evened out. But anyway, I will be making little hats. And these actually work up very quickly. I think the other one I made took me, I want to say two or three days. And that's with me trying to re-remember how to uh, knit in the round again. So, all right. So other crafting I have um, on my on my radar is um, I need to make some jewelry for my cruise that's coming up. Um, I have some clothing that I have uh, purchased, obviously through um, the uh, through Stitch Fix and Wantables. I started thinking, well, now that I have these outfits, I probably need some jewelry to make um, to go with them. And I have a couple of design ideas. One of them is to uh, crochet some jewelry so we'll see how that goes I will keep you posted all right so on to the dollies if you notice I have a dolly right here with me so this is Monique Magnifique I put her in this little sailor outfit and she's um, she's always been in my curio very very seldom is she out and about like this if she is she's in this this room where um, it is it's uh, um, cat and doggy free in this room uh, I never let the cats or dogs in this tiny little room here. And anyway, I put her in this little this little sailor outfit. She looks super cute in. And she's been sitting in my curio with uh, my doll Merle. It's a pull-up named Merle. And I've done some videos on uh, Merle. Um, I, did, I did an unboxing of Monique Magnifique. And this has been a kind of like a problem dolly for me practically since the day I got her. I just, I don't know what it is. I like her. She's cute. Um, whenever I change her clothes, I think, oh, I should do more stuff with her. But she's just, I don't know, she's not my favorite doll. And she, you know, like I want to get other dolls and I'm just not, you know, she, I'm just not, she's cute though. I mean, I just, I don't know. I keep struggling. I keep thinking I need to sell her. <sighs> And then I noticed the other day I was cruising over at um, CC Toys and online and I noticed her price has gone up considerably. I, I purchased her for um, about 188, I think, and she's now up to 248. So, um, yeah, maybe she's becoming more popular. I, I don't know. Um, but what do you guys do when you have a doll that you keep going back and forth on? I don't really have a doll on my radar right now that I'm necessarily dying to get. Uh, there's a couple of pull-up dolls I've been looking at um, because I have three pull-up dolls and it would be nice to have a fourth to kind of fill out <laughs> that area of my curio, my collection. Um, but, and that's where I put her up there thinking, you know, this would be kind of a fit. She has this little outfit and she looks super cute next to Merle, but um, I don't know. Every once in a while I think, I should sell her. <laughs> I'm not in love with her. And I just think you should be really excited about every, you know, doll in your collection. You should, you should really have, you know, a connection to that doll. And I just don't know. I mean, if I were to sell her, I definitely would not sell her stock because she has fabulous stock. Her, her, not this, this is not her stock. Her stock is this really, is a cute pink dress and shoes. And she's got this like really cute jacket. So I would not sell the stock. Um, though people can buy the stock. I've seen it for sale, so you can buy it without the doll. But, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, what do you guys think? Should I sell her? Is there something I should do? Should I just, you know, I mean, she's been sitting in my curio just, and, and it's not like I, I'm dying for the room, but it's getting a little crowded in there. So I just feel like she's not getting any attention and it's not like she's not a cute doll. I mean, you know, she's cute. She's a cute doll. She's just not ringing my bells. Um, but yeah, so Monique, are you going to stay? Are you going to go? I don't know. All right, so as I wrap this up, I just wanted to thank everybody for stopping by. Um, I have to admit that, you know, while I don't have a ton of crafting to show you from the last time I did a yarn and dollies, I don't think it's too bad. I've been catching up. Um, I really did enjoy working um, with my doll collection during the recovery period between um, the two surgeries that I had. I was very limited in what I could do. I, I couldn't drive. Um, I couldn't really uh, read very much. I could read little, little snippets. Um, basically, I could uh, lay around and watch television. 
there's only so and YouTube videos I watched a lot of YouTube videos but there's only so much of that you can do so um, I ended up changing the clothes on pretty much all my dolls so that was something that was that was kind of fun but even that was kind of difficult but the dolls were definitely you know they were some solace for me as I was uh, you know stuck at home and not able to do um, the, my normal activities uh, so that's one of the nice things about having an extra hobby outside of crafting is because you can't craft all the time. I mean, sometimes you have hand issues. I'll say you as in me. Sometimes I have issues with my hands or like in this case, I had problems with my eyes and I was still able to, you know, be active and do something um, that I had a good time with. So uh, yeah, the dolls were definitely, you know, a big help in helping me to get through those couple of weeks there. But I appreciate you guys stopping by, and as usual, I always like to have new viewers, and thanks for the old guys. Thanks for stopping by again and uh, leaving your comments, giving me your thumbs up, and I will see you later. Have a wonderful crafting and dolly day. Goodbye.